Wait, one second, is it on? Hold on. Push the button on the bottom. My name is Levy. I came here special, I drove in to stand up and daven for these people over here at this home who are supporting Shalom Task Force, Yemach Shemoy Vizachroy, Sister to Sister and Aura. These organizations alienate children from their fathers, which equals child abuse. That's why I'm here. People should not stand up for child abuse. I have grandparents and parents, fathers, who can't see their children. Also some mothers, because of these organizations. They support going to Goyesha courts and against the yeshiva system. This is not the way the Torah wants us to be. We follow Torah. You go to a rov, you go to a mediator, you don't go to Goyesha courts. And these people go to Goyesha courts directly, and these women, and they lie. With, 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 oh, Tzipora Winters, Yamach Shemoy Vizafroy, and Leia Lederberger, Yamach Shemoy. These are people who put in false charges against fathers and train mothers that were from to go against the Torah and to hold back their children from their fathers. And it's very, and some mothers. It's very sad. My home is always open to everybody. It cries and it hurts my heart to hear the parents calling me and saying, where's my kids? And I, I, they could sleep in my living room on the floor. They could sleep in the kitchen or wherever I am in the world. My home is always open when people that house me, wherever I go, I always know that my home is open to orphans. Why are these kids who have fathers turned into orphans? You know what hurts a lot? There are grandparents even more that they haven't seen their grandchildren in over 20 years. What did the grandparents do wrong? I have Holocaust survivors that died not seeing their grandkids because of these organizations. I came here in a shoifah like Dovr HaMelech, and I say to Hillem for the people that have refuah shalema, and it is only one week away from Slichas and two weeks to Rosh Hashanah. Please change your ways. To go into a house like this, you have to tell them that if you gave money, Please don't use my money towards Shalom Task Force, Yemach Shemoy Vizachar, all of them. Sister to Sister and Aura. These organizations are using children. It's very sad. I am hurt to, be, to do this, but I have to do this because no one else is coming out and speaking against. If anyone has any questions, you can call Rebelli Bervach Feigl and talk to him. You can call any of the Rashivas, Reb David, Reb, Reb Malkiel, and uh, Reb Yisrael, and, and, and Reb Ochanan. You know, uh, you just call them. Call them here and, and talk to them and ask them if it's right to alienate a, a father from a child. Of course not. We don't follow Goyim. We follow Torah in Yerushalayim. I'm sadly here, and there are grandparents here too, but people are embarrassed. I'm also embarrassed, but you know what? It's time to stand up. So many Yisoyim and kids come to my home and they cry to me. I didn't, and they don't even know they have a father. They think that the father hates them. No one should ever be alienated from their child and no one should be turned into a Yosem. They have to stop this movement. This is the worst epidemic. And the source of doing the right thing according to the Torah. Not just the right thing because your heart says so. The rich people that came here from New York and want to change the ways and turn this place into a liberal system and going to Goyesha courts, go home. Go back home to New York. We don't need you here in Lakewood. Would you come to Lakewood with your big houses? We don't need you. Lakewood doesn't need you. We need people that are Yerushalayim and that follow Das Torah and not follow rabbis that are chicken to stand up. I'm the only one standing here. All of the Rabbonin that are all chicken and you know who you are to stand up against this and sit in your house in Sheval Taisa and do nothing. Wake up, do tshuva, slichas, Rosh Hashanah is coming. We should all have a new beginning.